All right. I'm back to uh, the basement. I'm going to be looking at uh, placing in a furnace, a hot water heater, this floor drain. Note that it's five foot six inches over and ten foot two inches from the from the wall. Uh, one of the things that students sometimes have a problems with in my other classes is if they do put walls in the basement, interior walls, they locate the floor drains and and uh, the drains and the plumbing penetrations sometimes to the wooden walls, the interior walls. That's not what you want. They have to be to the cement walls, even if there's a wooden wall in between. The wooden wall will not be there. A stud wall will not be in place when these pe plumbing tenor penetrations position so before the cement is poured these have to be placed exactly where they need to be so here's the shower drain two foot three and a half inches by one foot uh, ten here's the waste water for the stool four foot eleven and a half by five four foot two we're just going to do these with some circles this will just be a circle uh, I do have a furnace and I do have a hot water heater in the software that we can bring in so um, make sure you have your sheet before you and we have to place those and place them correctly I would want them positioned as they are in this drawing so what you do is you just go up to annotate and you go find a detail line and on the detail line here's a circle now I can come in here and kind of look at where it needs to be somewhere out here and draw it it's a four inch radius so um, really that would be a four inch pipe if I put it at two inches it might show up I usually go a little bit oversized I'm gonna put it at three because we can put a, a leader on it that tells us how big it is I just want it to show up oh and it needs to be not a center line we might make it as a medium line so it's a little bit thicker I'm going to dimension its location so linear I'm going to go back here annotate linear dimension you have to touch a corner of the wall you can't touch the edge of the wall it has to be a corner then come out and grab that circle and pull it this way and what I'm going to do then is cancel this twice if I touch the circle this number will activate and I can set it to 10 foot 2 inches 10 foot 2 inches and what I like to do is grab these and pull them through there so we get a crosshair on it so we know we're going to the center of it that's 10 foot 2 inches I'll do a linear dimension again and we'll go from here to here Pull it that way. Right click cancel. Right click cancel when you touch the circle. This number activates. It's supposed to be 5 foot 6. What I should have done on this one is lock it. Touch it and lock it. That way when I go and change this one that one cannot change five foot six inches so see by not when I didn't lock it you can go back and replay the video this circle jumped down here you'll see it when I do the other one so I'll make sure I do that but I like this crosshair here when you place one dimension lock it then when you place the second dimension it won't go floating all around so if I go over here and do the same thing I go to annotate detail line and here's circle and I come in here and place a circle here another circle over here oh shucky darn they're supposed to be medium lines and I'll probably make this one again three inches this one even that could be that could be four inches it's a bigger pipe all right let's locate it linear dimension from the corner to the center 
it's supposed to be two feet three and a half inches it might be best give me some room if I put it right here cancel or I could push escape touch the circle this activates two foot three and a half two foot three point five inches and then lock it and then if I go and put another linear dimension on from here to here and pull it out this way push escape twice touch this touch the circle when I say touch this it's one foot ten one foot ten inches and again I like to take those dimensions and pull them through there so we know we're talking about the center of that pipe we'll put some text on there later right through here that says uh, that it's the shower drain possibly all right <clears throat> this guy I know is going to go over here somewhere um, annotate one ear again from the corner to here place the dimension escape twice touch the circle activate the text it's four foot two four foot two inches touch the dimension lock it it's going to save you a bunch of messing around linear corner circle come over here to touch this guy activate the text it's uh, four foot eleven and a half four foot eleven point five inches if you want to you can lock that one again pretty little crosshairs here you don't have to do that but I won't be happy if you don't you know I like the crosshairs so they're not floating out in space um, text could go on there text and I use instead of the text quarter inch aerial we go at the 330 seconds aerial and here's a leader here a two segmented leader and I can come in and point at that pull it out it needs to be I don't want them flat like this or straight up and down they need to be at some kind of an angle and then you have to draw a small little surface there that comes off of a detail this is the w dot c dot waste waste pipe they have theirs in all uppercase if you don't want them uppercase that's fine now here's the thing you have to watch on your leaders this is uh, right justified if the leader comes in from this side the text needs to be left, left justified and to pick it like this left justified so this comes in and just hits it there I don't want it going underneath in the drawing it goes underneath that's not the way you usually do it this one up here we need to we can slide it back we might be able to get the shower right in here what we sometimes do is just take something like this and if we like this one we could copy it from here up to there we can pull this over a little bit we can just edit that text and say that this is the uh, shower drain pipe and then um, we need uh, the floor drain over here so you can do text leader I come in here and it all depends on how thing, things are going to fit we may have to move it but right now we could try up here make a little shoulder on it floor drain whoops I think that'll be in the way of the dimensions. 
I mean, if it works, you can move it down here. You can pull this over here. You can grab that. Whoops. Set it over to the other side. Change the justification to right. Just so you get your nice little flat lead around there. It might work that way. I'm going to go to uh, Insert, Load Family. I'm going to just pick one of these and then type P to jump down to Plumbing. Double click on that under the Architectural tab in Plumbing. You will find, I believe, in Equipment, there's Water Heaters. And so I can go over here to Architecture, Component, Place Component. The Water Heater will be there. I can put that water heater in. You can see this is kind of in the way, so I could pull it to the top. If this is in the way, I could pull it up here and pull the leader down. It's okay that it kind of slides across that. There's my water heater, and it's supposed to be setting kind of right on this side of the floor drain, and there's supposed to be a furnace right here. Um, Insert, load family, uh, mechanical, leave it's under the architectural, it's the air side components, here's a furnace, and again if I just go over to architecture, component, it'll be there, here's my furnace. If this guy's in the way a little bit, you can pull him up. There's a few more interior dimensions you could place as long as you're here. Annotate, linear, the corner, to the line. That's 14 feet, 3 and a half inches. Corner, to the line. 14 for four and a half, 14 foot four and a half. To get these guys going across here, I'm going to have to go from the corner to the center. Let's see, annotate linear corner. Thought it would find the center of that. I might have to come up with a marker there. I'll have, to shoot. I'll have to get a marker placed in there. It doesn't want a dimension to the center of it. I wonder if it'll do it with um, annotate a line from there. Yeah, I can fix that. I think four foot eight. We'll just. When you get the dots there, if you touch the dots, they'll jump from side to side, to middle to side. So there's four foot. I used an aligned dimension instead of a linear. And so I'm going to go from here to here to here. As long as it's locking on to them. I'm going to put those... right down there. I didn't put this last one in here on purpose. I usually end up putting him, it, up here on the top because it gets in the way of the stairs. The way the stairs fit in. So it still gives me my spacing. So then I start looking at these guys, make sure this sectional view is hitting right there. And since I've got room here, I can pull that in a little bit if I want. I want this section mark. And to get the section mark to come up, I have to touch the line. I might edit that out just a little bit. So 
So those are the major dimensions on there. We've got some more we'll place. We're going to require you to put three windows minimum in this basement. The drawing you have shows one. Two of the drawing, uh, two of the windows must meet egress and be placed so that a future basement uh, bedroom, basement bedroom could be put in. Uh, one of the windows would not have to be egress. You could have four windows. Some people put a couple windows out here, like there's a family room, and we'd have to think if we want them back here. Before you place windows back here, you need to start thinking about your first floor, making sure you don't put a window underneath the deck or the sliding glass door. Uh, you wouldn't want to put a window on the wall that's underneath the garage or on the wall that's uh, underneath the front porch. It doesn't work very well when you open the window and all you see is cement. So that's it for now.